In this video, you will learn the strategies and expressions to make persuasions or to give advice in Chinese. There are two types of persuasions. The first one is direct persuasion. By directly persuading others, you just tell them what you want them to do. Direct persuasions are usually used between intimate parties such as friends and families. It is also used in emergent situations when doing so in a virtually enforcing tone is efficient enough to bring up a change. Some commonly used phrases to make direct persuasions are 别,不要,我劝你 Here is an example of direct persuasion between intimate parties. The two classmates are talking to each other. 老师心情不好,我劝你今天不要惹他 Here is another example in an emergent situation. 千万不要用手去触摸通电的线路,很危险. The second type of persuasion is indirect persuasion. Unlike direct ones, indirect persuasions rely more on sentence structures and talking strategies to achieve the goal. It strives for gaining an understanding rather than enforcing an action on someone else. Here is an example that uses interrogative sentences to persuade. 你想去参观一下我们的工厂吗? In fact, many indirect persuasions take the advantage of various parking strategies. To be more persuasive, one often combines direct and indirect persuasions in their talking. The goal is to make their persuasions more acceptable. Let me show you some common strategies. The first strategy is promising rewards. To let someone accept your advice, it is sometimes critical to promise them something in return. For example, 我向各位股东保证,若我当选董事长,一定会把公司的业绩做强,带给大家丰厚的回报. The second strategy is warning about punishment. To persuade, you can tie the unfavorable consequences with a case when others don't follow your advice. <laughs> the third strategy is supporting with expertise. When persuading in your professional area, use your expertise to strengthen the credibility of your advice. 嗯,为什么要投创业板的股票啊?你听我的吧,现在是投创业板股票的最好时机,我从业这么多年了,市场的走向还是抓得很准的。The next strategy is reasoning and caring. People often show both the reasons and care to others in making their persuasions more acceptable. 我今天又抽了一包烟,真的很难戒啊。抽烟对肺的伤害很大哦,快戒了吧,我这也是为了你的健康着想啊。The fifth strategy is making analogy. Making analogy means referring to similar past events, either with negative outcomes to persuade someone not to do it, or with positive outcomes to encourage their repeated actions. 这工作真是太轻松了，随便做做就行了。我觉得你还是不要对工作掉以轻心。上一名员工就是因为这样被炒掉的。啊，学车太难了，哎，我还是放弃吧。你看别人都顺利通过了，驾照没那么难考的，报
thus allowing them to be more comfortable to accept your suggestions. This fungi is a little expensive. Girl, your skin is so beautiful. Don't use our fungi. It's too expensive.